Good morning everybody. It's July the 20th and we're getting started a little late this morning. It's always something um, when you're trading. It's just it's a fact of life. Something is not going to work and or it won't be exactly the way that you want it and you gotta you really have to learn how to flow and go with the punches uh, to use a boxing analogy. Just just part of the deal and um, not pleasant, but um, it is the way the markets work. Okay, the biggest news overnight was that gold got slammed. Um, $2.7 billion order was dumped on the gold market during the Asian hours. The supposition or the guessing is is that it was China. Um, and uh, that market went down to, I believe, 1080, 1082, somewhere in there. And it's currently come back somewhat, but gold is still under pressure. And this large central bank selling is, I mean, it's a fact of life. If you're long in gold, uh, you have this kind of exposure. Uh, they don't buy it and push it up to the upside because their argument is deflation, inflation is not a problem. And that's one way that they can take care of them. Doesn't help us at the supermarket, doesn't help us at the gas pump, but it's the way governments work. Uh, so, uh, if you're long gold, you might consider having a put position on, too. Uh, the other news was that China said that they were going to study ways to withdraw their support, their overt support for the market. Uh, those markets immediately sold. Off of that news, China came back and said, wait a minute, we're not talking about it. They denied that they were even thinking about that, and the markets rallied back. So, again, if you... Um, overtly or come out in the open and do all sorts of things to support the markets that would normally be selling to stop the selling if you withdraw that support what's going to happen the market's going to sell so China's in a very very difficult position um, uh, just like every other central bank in the world is um, it's going to be very very difficult to withdraw that um, uh, support for the market without getting that sell-off which is what they don't want to see happen Okay, no news today. Uh, really no news out overnight other than China. We've got volume in the uh, 5 or 6 area. We've got volume down here around 28. So uh, my guess is we're going to find sellers at or above 6. And so we're going to make our first sell 7 to 11. And then 15 to 19. And on the buy side, we're going to make it 29 to 25. And then 21 to 17, we're going to look for a trading range. Is the audio reasonably good uh, for everybody out there? Um, I'm hearing a lot of chimes, which is different, which means anytime somebody does something. Okay. Um, Appreciate that feedback. Okay, it may take a five to get off a long, uh, a short. We'll just have to see how it happens. I think the market's going to go a little bit higher. Equities and treasuries are trading up. The dollar is strong. Just have to let the market develop today. Very, very low volume overnight, especially in the uh, stock indices. And no news to drive today's trading. <clears throat> okay, the knob spread strengthened overnight. You can see right up here this area, uh, 152.24, which is a ways away. Um, that spill from uh, 27. So we've got this. 20 to 24 area. We're currently at 12. 15 to 19 is where resistance is right now. So we'll put that. And then 27 to 31 for sell 2. And on the support side, um, support is at the buck to 30 right down in this area. Uh, we got volume at 03, so we'll make a a 1 to 5 by 1. We're going to lean against this volume right there. 
and then we're going to make it 17 to 21 for buy two in case this thing sells. But the knob spread is strong enough that this market, uh, if the knob spread holds, we're going to have to pay up to get off along. Okay, looking at gold, which just got slammed overnight. And again, if an individual, not a state central bank, was to do this to the markets, uh, people would be raising all kinds. Those people would go to jail. And so you have entities that operate outside of the law, and they're called governments. Uh, the law is what they make them. So you can see this. 82.85 is where the low is. We're currently back to 16. So structurally, this 40.42 uh, area is resistance, and then our 30 to 32 would be resistance right here. The overnight session high, and we've got volume at 15. So I'm, I'm guessing 15 to 20 is probably pretty good resistance, and 111 even, 111.05 is probably pretty good support. We further refine that by... You look right here <clears throat> at this uh, screen. So 15 to 17, sell 1. And then 20, 22, sell 2. On the buy side, um, 5 to 7, buy 1. And then 111, even, plus or minus, buy 2. Hard to say what's going to say, what's going to happen today. <clears throat> No, the three-month bell won't have anything to do with. With today's markets. Let me get gold down. <clears throat> Okay, um, Europe lent the Greek banks uh, 7.2 billion euros, I think, and they immediately paid back um, the people that lent them the money 6.8 billion euros. So it's the situation Greece is going to find themselves in. Uh, Europe will give them the money, and then they'll turn around and give the money back to Europe, and things will keep rolling along. The status quo has been maintained. So... 108.25 uh, to 30 is buy one. 108 even, 108.10 buy two. On the uh, sell side, uh, looks like uh, 65, basically 75 plus or minus. Then the buck for sell two. Pretty quiet. Uh, Greek banks are scheduled to reopen today after a three week shutdown. And there will be all sorts of articles about what comes next for Greece. Uh, one of the articles that I put up earlier that have been erased was a civil war if Greece is kicked out of the euro. And things could get so bad that uh, that's not a far-fetched thought. I mean, it's been definitely within the realm of possibilities. And they do take to the streets. <clears throat> you know, another thing that's really interesting right now is all the anti-Semitism that's popping up around the world. Um, and 
every economy, every every government that's in a precarious position or about could lose their uh, their power, they always find a scapegoat. <clears throat> and if they can't, if it's not in their best interest or capabilities to start a war with a neighbor, uh, then they're going to find somebody to blame for it. It can't be the government that did it. It can't be government policies that do this. It has to be some external factor because the current government is good and they're only looking after people's best interests. Ha ha. So uh, right now it's just um, they took a poll in Greece and the anti-Semitism in Greece was as high as it was in Turkey and some of the Middle Eastern countries. So I thought that was an interesting um, <clears throat> interesting take. And it does show you, um, you know, scapegoating. Okay, we're at 50.96, 51.25 to 50 on crude. Pretty aggressive, but it's where resistance is. Then 51.75, 52, sell 2. On the buy side, 50.50, 50, 50 and a quarter. I still think they're going for stops below 50, so 49.75, 40, 50 for buy 2. Okay, the ES, when I looked at it this morning, normally we'll have about 100,000 contracts trade overnight. At 5 this morning, they had uh, 38,000 in trade. And right now, we're at 53,000. That's a pretty low number. Um, no news to drive the trading. Everybody's already long the stock market, especially on the cash side. So adding to links, so we're, we, we need the volatility of the pop or the input of the trader. So 25 to uh, 35 is where resistance is. You see the high up here at 21.34. And of course, initially it's going to be 25, so stops above the overnight session. And the trade is from the long side, it's not from the short side. Sell one. Then 29 to 31, sell two. I don't think we have enough going that today to break it out and make new highs. So failure to get through 25 could set up a reasonable short. We have volume down at 15. So 15 to 17 to get started for buy one. Then our 10 to 12. No news today. No real news overnight other than what happened in the gold market. Uh, the Greek turning around and sending the money back to Greece, sending the money back to Europe <coughs> and China's false step on uh, withdrawing market support. Whoops, we didn't really mean that. Support will stay there. And so China has uh, probably in a little bit more precarious position than the rest of the world on what they have to do to support their markets. That's all I have. Um, I don't know if uh, we'll be changing the room here. I'll have to talk to Chris when he comes back in later, but we'll let it run this way for a while. And I'll be back with you as soon as possible.